I just attended Wolfram Summer School 2022, and this is the story. This is Caden. I'm here in my RV hacker lab, which I just drove for 40 hours to Champaign, Illinois, where I am now, five minutes away from Wolfram Research International Headquarters. Why am I here, you might ask? Where could I go where everybody else spends all their time thinking about problems, how to solve them, and trying to figure out how the whole freaking universe works? At the same time, I've been reading A New Kind of Science by Stephen Wolfram. And so I thought, hey, why not try to meet those guys? I found out about the Wolfram Summer School, which is a three week intensive program where people from all over the world can come out and work on a project together for three weeks. And so that's where I am, and that's what I'm about to do. And at five o'clock today, we've got a pizza party with Stephen Wolfram, and that's where I'm going. The first day, everybody crowded in for a keynote by Stephen Wolfram, tech pioneer, science genius, and the reason that this school is happening at all. The first official night of the program, we decided to have a little team bonding over some drinks. Every day, there were multiple lectures on topics ranging from metamathematics and the Wolfram Physics Project to machine learning and image processing. For example, this is Bob Metcalf, the inventor of Ethernet. And this is Jonathan Garrard, a genius mathematician at the University of Cambridge. This is the Wolfram Research International Building. And that is my house. Theodore Gray is an author and co-founder of Wolfram Research with a workshop in downtown Champaign, Illinois. For a special event, we all went to visit his workshop, which one might consider a bit of a museum. There's, there's the data. Now we all have our projects and it's time to work. Most of the three weeks involve daily meetings with my mentor, Marcus, and then working the rest of the day on the project. Everybody here works really hard, and then we like to have fun as well a few times. Also, some of us tried to stay fit during the program, and so Hans and I would go work out at his free gym. Can you help me? No, not yet. <laughs> After three weeks of lots of work, we all had completed our projects. Every student does a two-minute presentation about their work, where you talk about what you accomplished and how you did it. My project's goal was to understand relationships between words, linguistic relations, by analyzing word embeddings. First, we can decompose the differences between words. Of interest is this one. If we input Republican and Democrat, it shows us a list of differences between those words. We can also take a walk through meaning space and visualize how one word turns into another word. We can find all the words which belong to a certain class, like the class of animals or colors. We can judge the grammar of a sentence and score it. We can also build linguistic equations and assess the truth value of those equations. We began progress on understanding how concrete or abstract a specific word is. Some examples of concrete to abstract graphs. Be sure to check out this project notebook, which goes way more in depth into how everything works and the motivation behind what we were doing. After the two minute presentations, there was a poster session where the students showed off their projects. The next day, we all graduated. Upon graduation, we received signed books, a mini diploma, NFTs of our projects, and even Wolfram Language cupcakes to celebrate our graduation. My mentor, Marcus Van Almsik, is a brilliant researcher and exceptional mentor, and my project was only successful due to his ideas and help. Wow, this is super duper. After the graduation, there was still a lot more in store. I told some of the other students and mentors about an alpha project I've been working on, and a few of them really wanted to try it out. It's a system that gently stimulates your brain, and specifically your vestibular system, in sync with music, so that you can feel the song coursing through your body immersively. This is an early prototype of a project I'm building with Jeremy Stairs, and I'll be releasing a future video on that. These are electrodes. It will go through your head, and you'll feel some balance effects, let's say. <laughs> but my, my computer just... I don't think I've ever had this many people at once inside of this. That's Here, you're, cool. you're, the film, you're the film guy. Why? Okay, sure. <laughs> you, I, seem okay, like I need to go over You there. don't want me in the picture or something. <laughs> it works. Was that Twitch volunteer? No. <laughs> Jonathan was insanely hyped to try Brainstim and is probably the reason we all ended up in my RV. Oh yeah, that's... Oh, that's subtle, but... <laughs> that's really cool. <laughs> uh... <laughs> that's good. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> Whoa, that's crazy. <laughs> Look at Lukash. <laughs> wow. To finish it all off, nine of us students and mentors from the Wolfram Summer School loaded up into the back of my RV and drove to Chicago. Despite overheating engines, a tornado warning, we had a great touristy time checking out the city. We're here in my RV having the uh, nerd sleepover. <laughs> Our friends from Wolf from Summer School. <laughs> Luke Ash is in the passenger seat. <laughs> Overall, I had a really sick time at the Wolf from Summer School. It was just full of learning, networking, research, meeting awesome people. Thank you so much for watching and please subscribe for more technology, science, smart glasses, neurotech, and related videos.